Hello good people, it's Mbongeni again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to provide internet from your phone to your PC. This is going to assist you in the event where there is a load shedding. So here good people, if you take a look at uh, this side, this is my Google Chrome. Uh, I'm trying to browse something, the cars or something like that. It doesn't work. There is no Wi-Fi. There is no internet connection. So what you need to do, I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. You can share the connection from your phone to the laptop or your PC. So you'll be able to use your phone and use your PC even if there is no any other Wi-Fi connection. So let's say there is a load, sh sh uh, load shading, there's no connection. So here I've got this, your ordinary cable to charge your phone. So this one is going to get to your phone. This one is going to get to your PC so that they will be able to share the internet connection. You can get different instructions or messages like this one here. So all you need to do is to just take them off. Um, as they come, you just take them off up until you finish connecting and then you start. I'll just show you. Okay, the previous video was just a demonstration of what to activate from the settings, um, mobile network, tethering, and then you switch it on there. The cable is already connected now from the phone to the PC. Can you see the difference now there on, on the PC? It's connected, so we are taking it right from here. Okay, here we will say yes. Okay, let's go back to Remember last time we tried to check cars there and nothing happened So let's see Can you see? Things are starting to come. So now there is a transfer of and sharing of the internet between the phone and the PC. So you can now start to write your exam. But the, uh, my caution to you, it could be that try as much as possible just to download on the PC and then you disconnect because this can run out your data in a very terrible way. So definitely you need to save your data. That Those gigabytes that the UNISA provide, you can use them to share from the phone to the PC as you are writing your exam. So let's take um, practical things now and say, my UNISA Is working now there is no Wi-Fi nothing so this is the portal so you can um, <clears throat> do whatever you want to do once you are at this point but the most important things don't stay longer here when you are connected your data to the PC because that can cause a big problem so that is my main advice but you can see now it's connected there is an internet now on the pc that was the main thing that i wanted to show you so let me sort some few things then i will take you through as we move along let's see what happened if because this is the the cable 
that is providing the internet to my PC. If I remove it, let's see what is going to happen. Will it still going to work? My Unisa. No internet. It's not connected here. No internet. Let's put it back. Let's see what is happening. There you go. Things are again are starting to come back. So you can actually write your exam as long as you have in in sufficient data. Okay, there things are start to show shortly after I reconnected the cables back to the PC. So that is the main thing that I wanted to show you. So you can actually write your exam even if there is no electricity as long as your PC or your tablet is well charged as also you have enough data in your phone. Normally the UNISA will provide with the data. So if you use it in that way, definitely you can. But strong advice, do not keep on in this way. Shortly after you've downloaded, you are typing something, you will reconnect again once you are finished. Okay, just a quick recap. So basically your phone can serve as your internet hotspots provider. In other words, it can provide the internet to your PC or to your laptop. So all you need to do from your phone, go to settings, mobile network, tethering and portable hotspots, USB tethering, and then switch it on there. Then you are sorted.